Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, we're in the middle of Team of the Year, but EA Sports is starting our next promo early with yesterday's release of the Future Stars Swaps program. We have three tokens right now in the game, and I'll talk about how you can get those to start off your Swaps Rewards progress to get the packs or the players or whatever you're looking for as the value out of the Swaps program. We'll talk about what I think is the best value, and again, it comes down to the packs because the players inside of here are disappointing. And I know we've talked a lot about this already. You've seen this, I'm sure, since it's in the game already. But I want to take a look through these rewards and talk about how this program for a swaps rewards program just looks a little underwhelming compared to the ones we've had previously this year. And of course, the big thing on this game right now is trying to pack Team of the Years. And it's very difficult. But there are SBCs that are coming out today or refreshing today as upgrade packs that have been giving out team leaders at the highest rate. And I want to talk about fodder because people know that. And fodder is spiking every single day. It's going to happen today again, in my opinion. So we'll talk about that. And the rest of the market just keeps flying. Prices are going up like crazy on team of the year. Some honor mentions keep rising. Team of the year icons and other out of packs cards just keep going up. Because right now, the content is okay. But a lot of people have coins. And since the content's not incredible... Those coins are going into building teams and trying out cards, especially Team of the Years. I even think some Team of the Years are getting very overpriced on this market. So we'll talk about that and what to expect for today. Will we see our last flashback, aka flashback Jorginho today? I think it's possible. We'll talk about that. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this swaps program because we even mentioned it in yesterday's video. We had the pack or the card design and we had the first leak of Coutinho and it did actually end up happening yesterday. We have three tokens available right now inside of the Future Stars Swaps program and this is where they are at. A free one is you log in. I'm sure we've all gotten that. There's one via SBC called the Team of the Year Challenge 1 and then there is one for 80,000 coins or 500 FIFA points in the store. Day one on a Monday, they dropped that store pack. Interesting, right? So, 30 tokens in total is what EA has told us on the website. There will be a total of 30 tokens during the campaign. It started yesterday, and it's going to run all the way until the end of Future Stars Team 2. When, of course, Future Stars is the two-week promo with Team 1 coming in packs this Friday. As they said, Team 1 goes live on February 3rd. Um, and we'll probably be getting leaks for Future Stars very soon. Because last year, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but the whole entire Future Stars Team 1 and Team 2 was leaked during the first week leading up to Future Stars. So I would expect to see some leaks again here pretty soon. But all we have right now in game is the Future Stars Swaps program. There are three tokens as we just talked about. And the rewards, they're kind of disappointing. Which actually, they're not even available in game yet. So if you're like, Nate, why can't I claim these rewards yet? It's because nobody can. These are probably not going to drop in the game until I would assume Friday. Um, or maybe even a little bit later than that. But hopefully Friday which is interesting because the lowest tier reward in this set is a Future Stars Team 1 pack. And what's interesting about it is a lot of people, since we already have three swap tokens dropped in the game, are going to be able to do that pack whenever the rewards drop, which could be the first day of the promo. So everybody could be getting a opportunity to pack a player from the promo that's going to be dropping on Friday on Friday. And that's, that's kind of cool and something that we don't often normally see now those packs are obviously untradeable they're not tradable and you know able to sell but those would be that'd just be a fun way to like have a gamble pack to do on the first friday of a new promo but nonetheless the token grind for this has started now i think there's a clear cut option here for the best value for the 20 uh for the 30 tokens that we can get and i don't know they didn't say if this is going to be um i think it's 30 tokens in total i think they're telling us the full number whether it's through the store, SBCs, or objectives, we're going to have 30. No more, no less. I don't know how many are added into the code or into the game or anything like that, but they are saying 30. So that's how many I would expect. For 30 tokens, I believe the best grind is 84-20, 85-10, and the Future Stars Team 1 pack. That way you get 30 players, all 84 and above, and um, that's going to only cost you 20, what, 28 tokens. So you have two left over. Maybe if you don't want to buy the store pack or you want to skip an objective or skip an SBC, that is something that you can do with that option. I just think that's the best option because you get the most players possible. You get three different packs to open. And I mean, these players in here just look kind of bad, right? A base icon in February EA. Like, come on. A, ba a mid George Best for 20 tokens in February. And a Coutinho with 80 freaking pace in February. I mean, this card 
if this had like 88 pace and 88 shooting, the concept that was tweeted out of the leak of Coutinho was actually kind of a nice card. But this one that they're actually dropping, these are official confirmed stats in FIFA. It's such a big disappointment. I know it's a big pace boost, but we needed a bigger one uh, for this stage of the game with the team of the year cards that have been dropped with the SBCs that we have. So if you're a big Coutinho fan, if you're a big Villa fan, I mean, yeah, you can go for this, but it just, I just wish it was a lot better. And I wish it was a lot more upgraded because even some of the dribbling stats, 82 composure, 83 reactions, that's woeful. I mean, think about that. That's some, some gold cards have those stats. So that's what I'm disappointed about. The players in here are not good. And we got excited when we saw the Coutinho leak because we're like, okay, this could be another really good swaps program. But the player selection inside of here is just not good. And the packs are the best thing once again, unless you're going to grind all the way to the end for the prime icon player pick, or if you really want to risk it for this 87 plus, it says three, it's 87 plus winter wildcard centurion or future stars team one player pick. That's a big risk, but if you want to go for it, you can. I feel like the best value here is definitely the fodder packs once again. So uh, yeah, if you miss the tokens, one free, one via SBC and one in the store. Now, I think we're going to get another token today. Since this swaps program is kind of a short term one, right? It's kind of like winter wild cards. The tokens are going to be popping. It's not like a, the World Cup swaps where we're going to be waiting days in between where we get tokens released in the game. This is going to be pretty much not every day, but pretty much every day we're going to be getting tokens. And they said specifically again on the website page that the um, first owner Fiesta game mode is going to be a place. Is it even open right now? Maybe I went past it, but First Owner Fiesta is going to be a place where we will be able to get tokens. And I think today the swaps token will be available in the First Owner Fiesta objective. I would have to guess that's going to be the place. Kind of the same thing that we saw during Winter Wild Cards. So watch out for that today. Might be our first objective, objective token of the Future Star Swaps reward. So watch out for that. Now, let's talk about more content today on Tuesday because a lot of us right now are in the Team of the Year pack grind. I know some of you guys have maybe given up. It's tough out here, right? But regardless, Team of the Year are still in packs and the opportunity is still there. The biggest piece of content today in terms of an upgrade pack that is re-releasing, actually. I don't know if we're going to get any new packs today, but something that is re-releasing today that gives you probably your best chance at packing a Team of the Year today is an 85 times 3 midfielder upgrade. And these 85 plus packs, guys, they are the best opportunity that anybody has to get a Team of the Year icon or a team of the year player, even some honorable mentions, right? We had the 83 defender or the 85 times three defender refresh yesterday. I know a lot of people had some good luck out of that pack. This 85 times three midfielder upgrade requires an 85 squad. So if you can get some fodder together, go and do some upgrade packs. I really think this 78 plus triple upgrade is pretty good value. I packed Sokka from this yesterday. I have still not packed any team of the years. You'll see a counter on the screen uh, to track that when I actually have one. But I've packed uh, a couple honorable mentions yesterday and one of them coming from this pack. I think the 78 plus player pick and the 81 plus double upgrade going away is a bummer. But this pack requiring 10 non-rares and one rare, but keeping basically think of it as like a 75 plus player pick, but you get to keep all the players. You just have to turn in a couple more to the SBC. I'm a fan of this and I've gotten really good fodder out of it. I've gotten multiple walkouts and consistently good 83s, 84s, 85s even. So I'm a fan of this upgrade pack. And I think if you have a little bit of coins, you're like, Nate, what should I do right now to try to get some fodder? If you can go get some non-rares, I know non-rares are like five, 600 coins. And then if you have some rares, or if you're just trying to buy some rares to do the premium upgrades, rinse into the 78 plus because it'll get you some good fodder so that you can go out and craft some of these bigger SBCs that will give you an opportunity to pack team of the year cards. Guys, honestly, the, the premium upgrade packs have not been paying out. We know that, right? But these types of rating specific guarantees, even this 85 plus double upgrade, it's not good value, right? It's an 85 rated squad. You turn in uh, 11 85s basically to get two back, right? And that's not good value at all. But these are the packs that give you the best chance at getting a team of the year player. So if you got the fodder out there, I think today the 85 times three midfielder is going to be the one to do. And it's going to make fodder move once again, as it did yesterday. Since this is an 85 rated squad requirement, 85s are already 14,000 coins, but they're going to go higher today. 86s are 21,000 coins. They are going to go higher today because, again, our supply is dwindling. As we have said, the lightning rounds still happen about every day. We had lightning rounds yesterday on Monday. But again, the supply is dwindling. Investors have sold and uh, not as many people are invested in these or holding these anymore. 
And uh, again, there's still demand out there. So you saw these guys go to 22K yesterday. It kind of came back down. Even now, 20,000 coins for 86s. Like some of these guys, guys, we might see some 86s as some of them have already been doing. Some of these guys might go like Tiago, 21,000 coins. What did he uh, peak at yesterday? He peaked at 24,000 coins. If, the, if you see this card at 20K, he might go to 26 today. Like seriously, there is so much demand for an 85 double and an 85 times three because of the chance of packing icons, team of the year uh, icons and team of the year players in those packs. These 86s are going to move the same way that they did yesterday. They're going to spike at content, probably rise up through the morning, spike at content, and then come back down. So if you want to go for it, get, get on some 86s that you see that spiked yesterday above like 23 or 24K because they're probably going to go even higher today. And you're going to be able to make some coins off of that. It'd be a short turn quick flip. And if you still have some of this fodder in your club, I would recommend selling it in the spike of an SBC refresh. Again, you could even hold for tomorrow, though, because tomorrow and Wednesday, the 85 times 3 attacker SBC is going to refresh. Informs are going to go up for that. 87s are going to go even higher for that. And probably 85s and 86s are going to be going up for that as well. And 84s, right? These guys are going to spike today as well because you have an 85 squad. Some people will have 86s, 87s. Then they'll have to go buy some 84s. So that's the biggest part of content right now that is making stuff move is just these like gamble pack upgrades because they just give you the best chance of packing a team of the year in this game right now now also today uh we mentioned the first owner fiesta that might be where our swap token is maybe we get another swap token via sbc i'm not entirely sure today could be the day where we also see another and probably our last flashback during team of the year Jorginho. right this was a card that was leaked a couple of days ago and last tuesday we had pogba so Jorginho might be our player SBC today. Of course, yesterday we had the Richarlison, very overpriced. I'm doing it as a Spurs fan, but it's honestly abysmal that we are getting a plus two overall upgrade on the face stat of the card and plus ones overall in game. This is one of the biggest jokes of an SBC by EA this year. Uh, seriously, I tweeted out a, a little bit ago. I was like, this is on the level of that Sabitzer team of the year honorable mentions card we had in FIFA 21, except it's a Brazilian striker in the Premier League. So it's got a little bit of height because of that. But like, man, EA plus ones all the way around and plus two on the card is it should be criminal. But I want to talk about this SBC because, you know, this is has the potential to be a really, really solid card and it's going to impact the market a bit. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that it comes today, but it would make sense if it would come today based off the schedule that EA has been working around. This makes an, a card in FIFA that is normally not usable pretty usable, right? If he has stats like this, but the way that I feel about these flashback SBCs during team of the year, you guys know we've talked about it, right? Pogba has been decent, right? Pogba is probably the best flashback we've had yet. Mane didn't get that big of an upgrade and he was a decent price, but it was such a small upgrade over his 92. It was just plus ones. And then Ramos had a nice upgrade as well, but all these guys have been on the border of like just a little bit too expensive or is it really worth it? And that's how I feel Jorginho is going to be today too. But since it's a Premier League midfielder, uh, a card that probably would play very well in FIFA, really high passing stats, um, really good dribbling stats. If they boost up the pace to a usable amount, it'll be craftable for sure. Hopefully somewhere around like the 500,000 coin range. If they give him 80 pace, a four star, four star would be necessary. Maybe even like a high medium work rate. Uh, lean body type is pretty interesting. Playmaker trade if they add a couple traits in there, but base card stats 84 composure, 82 reactions. I sound like Inception. I'm talking about base card stats, uh, 89 penalties. Like this, this is going to be a nice card. Really high inner, uh, acceleration to sprint speed on the pace, which will be interesting to see how they upgrade it. But it all comes down to the upgrade on this today because a player like this has hype because he never gets cards in FIFA that are really that usable. And if his flashback is good today, people will want to do it. And let's talk about how that can impact the market because. Since it's Premier League, since people are opening a packs and they would love to craft this type of SBC and future stars coming up. And of course, Chelsea have plenty of players that could be considered for a future stars promo. That is one of the reasons why I bought Koulibaly's yesterday before his price started to go up, right? I bought a couple Koulibaly's at 415,000 coins because I knew that this Jorginho was probably coming. This is a rare card that is still in packs, but a card that a lot of people would maybe have to go and buy to link up with this Jorginho card if he is really good value. Watch out for your Chelsea links today. I think about out of positions uh, like Reese James is another card that is already up in value. Like a lot of the market is right now already up in value, but could potentially go higher with a Jorginho like that today. Maybe even like the Aubameyang. 
special card that we have. We only have one special Abomin. I don't even know how expensive this guy is. 375,000 coins. But Chelsea links today could go up. I'd be careful because it really depends on the value of the SBC. But watch those today. And then also, I'd watch your midfielders around the game. Because again, you know, maybe you watch a midfielder like uh, Bruno Fernandez has that um, World Cup Stories card. This is a card that could be directly impacted and affected in price today by a brand new Jorginho flashback coming out because they would be somewhat comparable players based off their stats. So we'll just have to see where that goes. But Jorginho today is a very, very possible SBC that could drop on this game. So watch out. Be maybe a little bit careful with some of your midfielders between 200 and like 700,000 coins, uh, depending on how good that SBC looks if it drops today. And then watch out for some of your Chelsea links. Now, what I also want to talk about today are the team of the year cards because guys, the market's flying, right? That's no secret. But these card prices, some of them are going up a little bit too much. And I'm not even really talking about these honorable mentions. These guys have held their prices pretty well. They're going up a little bit. Pedri's up a little. Kane is down some because of Richarlison. Uh, Vinny is up. Davies is up a little with uh, the Mane. People are crafting. Cancelo with a surprising here we go yesterday move. This would probably be his or honestly will be his last uh, Manchester City card. So that's kind of increased his value as that would be like, you know, his last card you'll see um, in a, a city way this year. But especially with these cards, I'm looking at Kareem the Dream Benzema right now at 2.9 million coins. I think this is way too much. Guys, I got to be honest, up a million coins from basically his lowest point on Thursday. This is crazy. Some of the rises on this team of the year. I think EA, again, this goes to what we talked about a bit yesterday. Some of the... Um, pack weight on these cards i think it's just maybe a little bit too low i don't even know jude bellingham 2.1 mil messi is five and a half million coins i just feel like if you're buying these cards at this point i wouldn't want to hold on for forever because prices like this in this fifa like they don't last i don't know i mean like the way we've seen the market this year prices that get this expensive they never tend to last because nothing is this expensive on this game besides like just a couple icons and a very few number of promo cards, but to have this whole team be as expensive as it is. Hakimi, 2 million coins. Uh, the Kevin De Bruyne is, is now 3 mil, like 3 million coins for KDB after he was in the low twos. It is crazy the market rise that we have had here. And I do, I did say a couple days ago in this, in the uh, earlier videos on the channel that I could see these guys rising up, but they have risen up more than I thought they would would in just a couple days time. And guys, it's Tuesday and look how high they are. I mean, even though it's future stars and probably the future star cards that come this weekend are not going to be as hyped as these team of the years. If the hype of the game of FIFA just starts to die off a little bit, which it normally does in the late stages of February anyway, just for the general audience playing this game, especially with how the team of the year pack of it is again has been it's demoralizing for some people that have been trying to pack team of the years and stuff i understand that like these prices man they're just so expensive and i you know it's great to have these guys and i understand how elite they are and i understand the desire to have them but what i would say to you is i would just be a little bit careful with them because i'm not saying they're going to drop off today or tomorrow but these prices for a lot of these guys it just seems to be a little bit too much but on the other side it feels like all right now we have a proper team of the year once again where these cards are ultra rare very tough to pack, and they feel super duper elite again in game. Now, I've not used any of these besides like the team leader Messi alone. And, and yeah, he felt fantastic. But for some of these guys, I do feel like they are a bit overpriced. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're wanting to buy a team of the year, it's at that point where it's like, is it really, really worth it to buy a team of the year right now to hold on to for, for longer than just the, like a day or so that you maybe want to play with it in your team? You know, that's it's a really tough area to swing. So ultimately, you, you want to do what makes you have the most fun in this game. So if having the most fun right now for you would be going and buying a team of the year player, go ahead and do it because this market right now, there's nothing in the next day or so unless we have some crazy leaks, right? That, that's always out there as an impending doom, you know? But as of right now, go and have the fun. Buy the card, play with it, even though the prices are crazy high. If we get leaks and you pay attention and you watch the videos every day, we talk about them, you're like, you're not going to end up losing a ton of coins. Um, if you're if you're tuning in and at least staying somewhat coherent to what's going on in this game, yes, the prices are up like crazy, but I don't see much from the Future Stars team unless EA start releasing some crazy leaks of like insane cards with boosted stats that are going to really impact these team of the years 
on this game. It's just crazy to see how much they've gone up in price. Literally nobody expected this after the market's been this year, how it is, and then how things were during team of the year last year. But we still press on trying to pack blues. Again, no team of the years yet for me. We'll open 178 plus in this video just to see if anything special can happen. Just kidding. I have a card that is a duplicate, but for the video, we'll just quick sell it really fast so that it's out of our way and open one of these 78 plus packs. I talked them up. Let's see if they're good. But guys, I'm going to try to open and more of these today. I've got some 85 plus packs that are at the back. Um, and what do we have here in this one? We have no boards. Great, Nate. Great way to show the YouTube audience that these are really great packs as that's one of the worst ones that I've had yet. That's not how most of them are, to be honest. One more pack for the boys, because why not? I'm going to try to pack a blue. I'm still going throughout this whole week. I'm going to do my hardest. I'm going to try my hardest and do my best to try to get a blue. Um, it's going to be worth it. It's, it's worth it. Of course, how much money we've spent, uh, of course, with all the SBCs we've been able to do, but it of course is pain. At the same time, not seeing that blue walkout animation happen in one of these packs yet. So we're hoping for that to happen this week. But if you want to tune into live streams, we're going to be opening packs like this all day today, hoping to pack a blue. So if you enjoyed today's video and if you're excited for today's content of FIFA, hit the thumbs up on the video. That, comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.